Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to do something that I think is kind of fun because a lot of my uh, investor and a lot of my friends and families and not only that, my, uh, you know, the people that hang out in the command nations here. What is the worst? What is the best yield max out there? And we always have fun. This list change depending on who you talk to. It's not it's not consistent. And I don't think there's any scientific data that go into this. But a lot of time when you follow the fund for a long time and you track the fund and just like us, we look at these funds like essentially on a daily basis. And uh, and so as a result, at, at some point, it's just gut instinct. It's just kind of like, and sometimes that's all you got. And um, you, know, you go into the most complicated decision-making process. So with that in mind, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to uh, Huffman Unfiltered. He created this. Uh, thumbnail and so that's why I'm using it so this in this in this situation he created the thumbnail I use the the thumbnail as an inspiration to make video all right Hoffman thank you so much all right so let's start off with the worst first all right and then there's the best and then the consistency and the flash in the pants and the new kit on the block all right so these are all part of the yield max family let's start off with this now there's 12 Yield Max family. There's four here that's already receiving uh, this, uh, you know, payout. And then you got I can't pronounce the word is distributions. Yeah, that's it. That's the word. And then there's and then there's another four that's just waiting, and they're gonna get paid out in September. And then you got the newest kids on the block here. These all just came in uh, essentially in the last week or so. All right. So out of all this, there's twelve of them. The worst Yield Max, in my opinion is happen to be Disso. I cannot believe this in a million year they will come out with Disso. I just, it just unfathom. Uh, so Disney, Disso is based on Disney, right? And <laughs> have you seen Disney stocks? Now, in terms of when you read their prospectus, and it's essentially the same. It's, it's they all, their payout's the same, the X date is the same, so I'm not, I'm not gonna go into that. So if you read Tesla, you pretty much read all of them uh, here. But we're just going to go and talk about Disney uh, for a second. And then that's the driving force behind why this is the worst uh, fun out there. And uh, let's go look at... All right, so I'm, my favorite uh, tool website here. I love this website because they use... Uh, it's very simple. It's good for new, new people like me. So this is the Walt Disney Company. And uh, in one month, it has dropped a lot. It went from 90 to 81. But if you look at year to date, uh, at the high point, it was over $100. And now it's 81 cents. But if you look at five years, oh, God bless the guy who owned. There was a period from 2021 all the way here, you pretty much own over 170 something dollars of stock. And there's people out there buy this stock for 170 I, I guarantee you there's at least institution and a whole bunch of company bought it for 170 and it just dropped. Or, you know, ever since it got into the political agendas, Disney have went down the tube, down the hill, and nobody wants to touch Disney now. Now, not only no one touch, want to touch Disney, they want Disney to burn. I mean, literally, like, I don't know a single person who, who like, they, they're so, they, 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 don't care about Disney that if Disney failed tomorrow they would be the happiest people so it's like now it's like the opposite of that uh, like you go watch YouTube video uh, not only they neutral but they wanted to burn you know so yeah so it's it's really really bad yeah this so is the worst ETF because I have no idea why uh, this is even on the list uh, and and the more I, the more I think about it is it's the more I, I really don't want to know. And the more I ask the question about why DISO, even the DISO is on Yield Max list and the top, uh, you know, within the top 12 company here, they literally could have picked any company out there, but they picked DISO. It, it make me kind of question that motive and that reason also. Uh, and I'll tell you, it, it uh, I have I have an opinions, but I, I don't have enough data and research so i need time but i'll i'll tell you that uh one day i will make a video about why yield max <laughs> you know it's not it's not that great uh just because of this factor right here okay 
So you want to know if that was the worst, then what is the best? What is the best? How do you determine the best? Well, guess all. You know, the best is Tesla. You you cannot ignore the pretty girl in the room. Tesla is just unbelievable. Uh, it pay you know from sixty to seventy percent uh, distribution rate. At, um, just to give you a quick idea, you know, majority of my portfolio, I. Uh, I have 2,400 income for the month, but all of that is coming from essentially from Tesla. It's uh, I almost 80% of my sh my portfolio made up of Tesla. It's unbelievable how much percentage of Tesla that I own in my portfolio. 80% of it. Um, so out of out of 29,000, majority of them is from Tesla, and uh, so yeah. So I'm a believer of Tesla, and I love Tesla. All right, let's go take a look at Tesla real quickly. All right, so we analyze Tesla like it's Kool-Aid. One of the the reason why it's the best, number one, is this. is the consistency of the payout. The payout essentially average 83 cents. That's unbelievably high, and that's good. Uh, there's not many out there that can beat that. 83 cents average, and then over since January, it's been... It's over like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months now. And September is coming up here next week. We're gonna find out how much Dispro it's gonna they're gonna make uh, next week. So it's gonna be a lot. I'm I'm really I'm really excited about it. It's just unbelievable in terms of the numbers. All right. Uh, the other things about this uh, Tesla, it's really cheap right now. It's really really cheap. Um, you know. I bought it when it was like $17 way over here, you know, like way, way at the beginning when it was really high, uh, somewhere around here. I can't remember when I entered it, but some, it was very high. It was $16, so either this side or this side. And, uh, but now it's $14. At one point, I dropped all as low as $13.37. So that is some good, good money. Um, so I, I, th I believe that, uh, you know, What's out there? I mean, forget what I believe, but what's out there that at fourteen dollar pay you an average of eighty three cents, even if you cut the dividends in half, pay forty four cents. It's still better than all the big company out there. It's still better than Chuppy. Still better than QYLD, XYLD, and every single one out. Every single thing out there. It just, it's just unbelievable in terms of. Uh, uh, the dividend yield. This is why Tesla is the king, and uh, or the queen, how you want to look at it. But uh, the biggest, the number one thing is that Tesla track uh, Tesla, and Tesla is unbelievable. Um, you know, this is an unbelievable stocks, unbelievable company, and it just it just keep give you that yin yin yang effect all the way, peak and valley, peak and valley, all the way down, up and down, and that's generate the income for Tesla. And this is one. This is one of the reason why uh, Tesla is so popular is because the underlying stock is Tesla. And um, yeah, as long as this uh, symb symbian, uh, symbian relationship exists, uh, you're always going to continue to do well with Tesla. So I think they got a gold mine here. Matter of fact, they got such a gold mine. There's a whole bunch of other company is going to come along and do single stock cover call. Uh, you know, you know type off the money, on the money, whatever it is, they, they're going to go after these things because, uh, you know, Tesla is taking advantage of this situation. Let's look at Tesla uh, holding a percentage real quick. They say 290 million here on this website, but on their website, they hold actually over uh, 500 net asset, 588 million. That number just continued to grow and grow and grow. It's just unbelievable. It's just getting bigger and bigger. I remember when it was only 300 million. I remember when it was even lower than that. So now it's over 500 million. So it's just going to keep on growing, keep getting better. And it's it's a beautiful baby. Okay. Right. So the next one, uh, the consistency, and I liked about this because um, the consistency, that means you're getting payment all the time. It's not too high, not too low, but it's just steady state and it's pretty cheap price. Is O A R K, O O A R K. This is uh, Kathy Wood, uh, essentially based on the innovation option. So ARK, A R K, 
uh, K, I believe. I think there's another K there. Uh, let's let's look at the holding real quickly here. Uh, yeah, so O A R K NAV. Uh, where's the holding? Here's the holding. All right. Yeah, A R K Innovation. All right. The ticker symbol is A R K K. That's what I thought. I want to make sure I get that right. And uh, yeah, so here is the beauty about it. This is why they're so special. So it's just consistently pay and a very steady, normal, good price. And matter of fact, not only that, it went up or every single time. So, so yeah, and it's only fourteen dollars. And uh, same thing, you know. So it's very really cheap and pay you a good dollar amount. You know, you got uh, at one point at the high it was one dollar back in February, and it dropped a little bit to thirty six cents, and then came uh, creeping slowly back up. Um, yeah. So this is this is one of those funds that's for fourteen dollar. You are making a good return on a consistent base, and um, and it, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, okay, so the next one, the flash in the pants. Uh, I call it the flash in the pants because we don't have a lot of history on it. But this company, uh, this yield max, um, pay a lot uh, of dividends. I mean, this is some good dividends, which is NY. DY. It's based on NVIDIA. And uh, let me just show to you real quickly all the way down. And it's growing. The net asset is 98 million now. And um, all right, so it's 74, 95, 81. It's on a high end. So I mean, this is uh, consistently paying on the high end. So there's a potential that this thing here may be the first to pay $1 on a consistent basis. Uh, so I. I have a lot of hopes for this uh, company. The only thing I don't like about it, it is kind of expensive. It's cost $24.80. I mean, for $24.80, might as well buy uh, you know, a bunch of Tesla and Yilmax. But, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Tesla and OARK. But, you know, if you're willing to spend the money and you want to pay on a high premium, this is a high premium kind because essentially uh, they're going to they're gonna give you at least more than, uh, well, start off at 74 but I believe they're going to give you consistently more than 80 cents or higher. This thing is not going to average in 83 like Tesla. The average is going to be a lot higher. It's going to average in the 90 in my, my opinions. Uh, but uh, we don't have enough data yet, but I say time will tell. And this is why the flash in the pants, NVD, uh, you know, coming out strong. But eventually, and, and eventually, in my opinion, it may... Uh, it may also come down the other way because the underlying stock is NVIDIA. You know, so it, NVIDIA is at its maximum level right now. It's running 110%. It's God bless them. And uh, all right, so here's NVIDIA and it's at its max level right now. I mean, it just, it's unbelievable. It just slowly increased all the way up there and it's 45 and it's, it's nothing trajectory to slow it down at all whatsoever and every time you think it's going to come down it came back up and every time you come back down it go back up so it's just it's just unbelievable this thing is over a trillion dollar company and it's leading the way because of chat gpt it's leading the way because of ai and it's just everybody's raving about it everybody wants it and it, this is the coolest kit in the block and they are making so much money right now just unbelievable so yeah they're tracking this thing but this thing is just at one point it's going to go uh, at, at some point it's going to come down it has to come down at some point um just like everything else out there so uh uh i'm just i'm just curious when that is but is this is this the peak of it uh we don't know uh, there's no way to know and i hope this is not the peak and then it's all of a sudden just you know come back down um reality check in here but so NVD track NVIDIA, and there's a lot of hopes for NVD. Uh, yeah, with that, I want to say uh, it, this is a great, great uh, flash in the pants um, uh, ETF. Okay, new kits on the block. The new kit on the block is Kony. Kony, I don't know much about coins, but remember the Yield Max Foundation uh, here. The, the, the core way of generating income is based on volatility of the fund. So the, 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 the more extreme it is, the more it is. Uh, the more fund is supposed to, uh, the more income is supposed to generate. And Kony has one of the highest uh, volatility 
of uh, of any of the ETF fund. So it's just unbelievable uh, in terms of how much it it makes. So it's uh, this this thing here has potential to make over you know at least over a dollar easily. It's it over it has the potential to take over Tesla. Um, easily in terms of the crown. So the one person that can take the crown here um, is definitely going to be Coney. If there's nothing else, it's Coney. Um, that is... Let me see. Okay, so here is uh, some of the data that people... Uh, some This is uh, was given to me by Hoffman. I don't know how to read this as much. Uh, like some people know how to read this. And... So, uh, if you look at the you know the monthly volatility, and if you look at the 365, this is the yearly average, and if you look at coins, it's 51 percent. If you look at uh, if you look at Tesla, it's 49 percent. If you look at 30 days average, 44 percent, 63 percent. This number alone is probably going to generate so much, so much uh, dividends, and uh, and. Man, here here is this data spreadsheet that Hoffman. You'll find this in our Discord. If you want to know where all these information at, you can come to our Discord and hang out with friends and families. It's it's pretty. I don't know who created this spreadsheet, and I want to say Hoffman did it, but I don't know where he got it from. Uh, if he did it, then I got it from Hoffman. If he did it, God bless, man. This is this is some complex data. Uh, first of all, I don't know what this monthly volatile IV30, IV365, I don't know how do you come up with these numbers. Uh, I don't know what a beta is, so I, I'm just going to be honest. I'm telling you that I, I only know what I know. And the current price, I know that. The name of the stock, I know that. Estimate dividends. Uh, based on volatility and some kind of data they use, somehow they're saying that we're probably going to get $0.84 cents dividends, uh, $0.87 cents dividend on you know on Tesla and VD. And... Um, that's a pretty good wild guess. I mean, and so far it's pretty, pretty, pretty close. You know, when I look at this, it's pretty close. Um, and when you look at Corny, they're gonna pay a dollar and fifty-one. <laughs> it's an unbelievable number. It's just an unbelievable number. So I, I, I well, we we'll, we'll just have to see. We just have to see. And uh, and so there's a lot of potential. Uh, yeah, just. Uh, if you know how to read this number, God bless you, and you can put it on the comments and chime in. If you come in the Discord, you can see, you can talk to the author himself and, and, and just have a little conversation with him how, how all these works, you know. So he's based on $10,000, $10, $10, so $10,000, here's all the factors, and here's the repayments, uh, 1.43. Uh, so if you buy coin, you're going to get repayment in, in one year. That's a pretty good number. <laughs> Uh, this is something where you, I may take loan just to do this one. I mean, a year later, you get, you, you pretty much pay it off. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I, uh, I appreciate this. Uh, just go, go ahead and, yeah, give him credit and please post in comments. All right, so the new kids on the block is Coney, and it's really, truly one of the best, um, yield max out there uh in term of its data that i just showed you on the excel, on the excel spreadsheet uh and yeah but we'll see because we haven't seen the price yet but when we see the price it's estimated to make a dollar and 51 cents monthly distribution uh god bless god bless these are high high numbers. these are good numbers and with that i want to say thank you so much uh for uh for watching Please subscribe and please comment.